Hey guys, for today's video, we are going to be doing, I'm gonna be recreating my mom's well-known seafood gumbo. Hmm? So I went to the store and I'm going to show you guys all the ingredients that you need to follow along. I grew up on this gumbo. This is going to be my first time making it by myself, but I've watched this made, being made at least a million times. Okay, so you're going to need a rotisserie chicken. We're going to be using the breast of it. Then we're going to do a pretty big pot. So I got two bags of gumbo mix and in the gumbo mix is okra, corn, celery, onion, sweet red peppers. And then this is what's going to really make it that gumbo flavor. It's the Zatarain's gumbo mix. This is that thing, that seasoning that's going to set it off. Two bags of medium shrimp, the raw devein tail on. Then we got some whole okra because we like it slimy. Some turkey sausage, but you can of course do whatever kind of sausage you prefer. We just like to do turkey sausage. And then of course some crab legs. This is our pot. So it is a wide pot. It's not really that deep but it is a wide pot and we're gonna eat on this for about two to three days. So let's get started. First step, I'm gonna add some water into this pot, bowl, whatever. Next, I'm adding in the frozen vegetables, like I told you guys. It's just the Publix brand gumbo mix. Two bags of that. Also going to add in the whole okra. So we're gonna let all this um, get to cooking so that the veggies are nice and soft and tender. Now I'm taking it upon myself to do something that my mom doesn't do. I'm going to be adding one of these chicken bouillons, just a little cube in there. I'm gonna add some lemon pepper seasoning. Not a lot. And then lastly, I'm gonna add a little bit of slap your mama. Now I'm just mixing all this together. Um, and I did put some water in here. Okay, so we're gonna leave, have the vegetables cooking on about medium to high heat, more towards medium, I mean more towards high, so that I said the vegetables can go ahead and get tenderoni. Now, as y'all can see, I've taken all the chicken breasts off of the chicken, and we're just gonna kinda cut this up. y'all can see we got the chicken and the sausage cut up once again the shrimp are waiting we put the shrimp in last because we don't want them to be rubbery got the crab legs waiting and what we're doing right now once again is just letting the vegetables cook this is a pretty easy dish uh, while the veggies cook maybe about 15 20 minutes we're gonna add in the um, Zatarain's little rice gumbo base mix and the chicken. Be back in the flash. Okay guys, right here is just a empty pot, okay? So what I'm about to do, I'm gonna take the gumbo mix and this does have rice in it. So a trick that my mom just told me about, you pour in the mix and I told y'all we're doing two packs. And as you can see, it's like a lot of, it's just a bunch of seasoning powder and it has rice in it. So, um, what we're going to do, instead of dumping this directly into the pot with the hot veggies, we're actually going to put cold water in here. Just some cold water. We're going to mix this up in the cold water. This pot, I'm not cooking it, I'm just using it to hold the, uh, the seasoning. So we have the Zatarans in cold water and we're mixing this thoroughly. And the reason we're doing cold water is because if we were to pour this directly into that hot pot, everything would just stick to the bottom. So, therefore, cold water to mix it up. Now we're gonna add this cold mixture to here. And we're definitely gonna keep stirring this for a good minute because we don't want that rice, like I said. Oh, shoot. Uh, we don't want the rice to stick. This is where the base is starting to come together. This when that flavor, that seasoning, really gonna be in here. That seasoning. 
as y'all can see, I'm about to cut up an onion, well, a half an onion to go inside the gumbo mix. And I'm just going to chop this up pretty good. Now we're going to add in the chicken and the sausage that I showed y'all. And I'm just going to take it right over here and dump this puppy in to the, be the bees. Now we're just going to let this cook again and then we'll be back to add in the shrimp and the um, crab legs. I have my shrimp here rinsed off and I'm just pouring those in. So when you put the shrimp in that means you're almost done because like I said the shrimp go in last so that they don't become rubbery or hard or whatever because these don't have to cook for very long. And so I'm gonna wait probably about five minutes and then I'm gonna add in the crab legs so they can get some of that nice gumbo flavor on them and we will be done. Now I'm back to add the crab legs. Okay, so yeah, the crab legs are in and these don't have to necessarily cook. Um, we just want them to kind of steam and really get that gumbo flavor on them. So I'm kind of mixing them in a little bit. looks delish 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 hey y'all um it's a new day it's a new day it's a new dawn anyways y'all look what is on netflix and i didn't even realize it 101 while everybody else was excited me too about sister sister and girlfriends and all that stuff i was excited for 101 but i forgot like the day but anyways i've been literally watching 101 and editing our podcast episode click right here of course like i say all the time and you can check us out our podcast episode all day on this lovely friday and uh right now i'm actually about to wash my weave <laughs> But yeah, I'm about to wash my weave and deep condition it, all that good stuff, because I will be making a wig out of this hair. I'm trying to decide if I want to do the deep treatment. Deep conditioner be the uh, Shea Moisture Rehydration Treatment, because it is a little dry. Or save this for my real hair and just use this regular conditioner as a deep i think i'm gonna just do this so yeah guys i haven't been doing much at all on this friday literally nothing playing with the dog editing watching 101 um but yeah hmm. hey guys today is sunday i can't even lie to you i'm not in a good mood i'm actually in a horrible mood my dog just ran out the house twice this is the second time running out the house. We live in a neighborhood like this. I mean, it's cars. He's going to get hit by a freaking car. Last night was my first time closing at my new job. I don't even like my new job. Didn't get home too late. I just, I'm just not in a good mood right now. I don't like my job. I don't even have time to do anything else like YouTube or anything else that I really want to do. Just so annoyed and frustrated not to be negative nancy but shoot that's just the reality right now i'm just not in a good space so anyways like i said today is sunday i'm actually about to today is november the first and hey surprisingly <laughs> i've lost 10 pounds since um august 1st to now i've lost 10 pounds so that's good so yeah, I'm about to go right now to um, Walmart just to grab a few items. I just need like some chicken and some broccoli. And I want to get some kind of fruit. I think I'm, I saw this thing on Pinterest. It looked really good. It's just watermelon and um, strawberries mixed up. I think in grapes. It looks really it looked really good. So I'm going to get that. And some meal prep containers and just kind of meal. Because I have like as far as breakfast and lunch is um concerned i have all that situated and um it's just a dinner that i don't really know and i know i told you guys about this meal prep meal planning like company that i did i did try them i didn't vlog it i got five meals from them it definitely was something i could have made at home i was not impressed at all with my meal prep from that company so i was just like i'm just gonna take the time out and meal prep the my my own food which is what i used to do a long time ago i just got lazy
with oat milk, with um, caramel and mocha. Okay guys, I'm back from the store. Let me show you guys what I got quickly. Just got some Febreze fabric and some Febreze air freshener, the pet version, because y'all know, got a dog. Got Nipsey some little itch wipes that I wipe his paws off with when he comes from outside. I got two. I got two of the two packs of these candles because this just smells like clean laundry, and I like to burn these around the house. I got this, which is a really handy dandy tool if you use a lot of bottles. Like I drink a lot of my water out of like canisters and bottles and stuff like that, so this can really clean the bottom. And it came with a straw cleaner, reusable straw, save the turtles, meal prep food containers and I just got the five pack. I got a couple different seasonings just some meat tenderizer, garlic salt, so good and then I wanted to try this. This is by McCormick and it is the rotisserie chicken seasoning. Then I got just my Olive Garden Italian dressing, the light virgin. I got this garlic teriyaki marinade for the chicken that I'm making for the week and I'm only gonna use a little bit of it because this does have a lot of salt in it. I got some crackers just to go on my um, salads. Got Nipsey some fresh pet dog food. This is a dog food I like to feed Nipsey most of the time. It's supposed to be 100% natural raised turkey, no meat byproducts and no preservative. So this is what I like to feed Nipsey. Um, if y'all don't know, Nipsey is my dog. This is just a red onion for my salads. I got some garlic, cause I'm gonna be making roasted garlic for my meal prep. Some mint leaves, which I like to put in my water that I drink. Um, I got this, which is organic brown basmati rice. Then I got some chicken tenderloins no antibiotics this is like the free range boneless skinless chicken and then for my fruit i told y'all i'm gonna do watermelon strawberries and grapes mixed up and yeah that is what i got from walmart right now um oh i just got done massaging my neck i bought this little mas massage gun because sometimes my neck shoulder region acts up a little bit but anyways guys i'm about to get ready to meal prep and of course i will show you guys the process and the final product hey y'all fresh off work um today's monday and today i'm starting the 28 day challenge at my boot camp class thingy that i signed up for today is day one so hold on and then it's dark outside because the time just went back or up one of them i don't know but anyways y'all tomorrow is voting day and i am actually working the polls here where i live and whoever's watching this i hope you already voted hope you voted for the right person i hope all your friends family members voted child. um so i'm about to go do this boot camp class i'm actually kind of excited i should have brought a jacket though because i underestimated the weather y'all it's a little nippy outside i feel like november is going to be a good month we're going to see how it go and i will let y'all know yeah me again hey guys guess what time it is 4 30 a.m i told y'all i was working the voting polls today we have to be there at 5 55 we have to be like business casual so i'm wearing like y'all where is fall at it's straight up winter time right now winter i have on this thick sweater turtleneck and these polka dot pants because i already know it's gonna be cold in there it's cold outside i'm whispering y'all hear the parkers playing in the background Anyway, so I'm about to brush my hair back and put on this headband. And then I'm going to go get some breakfast and be on my way. Nipsey. Nipsey. Y'all, Nipsey peed in my room this morning. I almost broke his back with my shoe. Anyways, I'll see you guys later. Hey guys, I am back. I just left working the polls, a long 13-hour shift. Y'all, I've been on Twitter because Twitter is just hilarious when things like when stressful times come, Twitter will have you cracking up looking at these polls. Y'all, it looks like whew, it's stressful. I don't know if it's a tie so far, if Biden and won, but by the time y'all see this vlog, we will know the winner and I'm hoping that it's Biden. <laughs> I said I'm the biggest Biden fan, but I like Kamala and I'll vote for anybody over Trump, so I need Biden to win. 
Anyways, this is stressful. My mom is going crazy downstairs. Anyways, I'm tired. Like I said, I've been at the polls all, literally all day. Since 5 a.m. I've been at the polls. It's now 7 o'clock. So, I'm pooped. What I'm about to do now is actually pack my gym bag because I do have my boot camp class tomorrow. Y'all, my arms are so sore. My back is so sore. I'm just so... But anyways, yeah, I'm about to eat my meal prep. It's just um, grilled chicken, roasted broccoli, and brown rice. And it's actually pretty good. I'm not even going to lie because I put a little bit of teriyaki sauce, just a little bit, um, on it. But it's really good. So I'm about to do that. Decompress, chill, and watch these poles roll in until I fall asleep, I guess. And hopefully when I wake up, I'll be happy and not sad. Hey, guys. Today is... Friday and I'm off work finally but um, I'm about to go just run a couple errands um, first I'm going to the beauty supply store because I am making a wig so I need to go get um, I just need the little wig clips and then some needle and thread and then oh, I need to go to the bank and I'm going of course to my favorite store dirt cheap because I want to get um, a new my room always look dirty anyways I want to get a new comforter well not necessarily a comforter but like a big fuzzy blanket that i can use as a comforter um i saw some at target but i'm going to see if dirt cheap has any first because obviously it'll be way cheaper um and i also want to get a jacket like i don't have just a jack like i have a coat for the winter but i need a jacket like a heavier duty jacket for when it's cold outside but not cold enough for a coat i don't have one and that is all I'm doing. I'm going to come back home and make my wig and catch up on Housewives of Potomac. But I wanted to show y'all my um, sweatshirt, crew neck. This is James Baldwin. If you don't know, get familiar. Just here and super chill. I went to my boot camp session last night. I actually scheduled one for today at 4. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to go. Because today is... On Fridays, it's Flex Friday, so it's no cardio. It's just all strength training, which is cool. But I know for sure I'm going to the one in the morning at 9. I'm just about to head out. Guys, I put my AirPods in. So, it can look like I'm on the phone. But really, I'm not. Okay, so, I found this, which matches my room it's black and it's cozy and furry looks like this and it's my bed size I have a couple of them and it comes with two pillow shams so I might get this because it feels really nice and warm so and it's $80 but 40% off it'll be $48 so I might get this socks I saw hanging up long socks what a joke okay guys I'm back from the store and all that um and I showed y'all what I got but I'm gonna show y'all again um of course what I went for was this comforter kind of set thingy and this is how it looks it's like fuzzy but not too fuzzy and um I think it'll be good. It's really nice and warm and like cozy and stuff. I showed y'all the original price of this was $80 and I got it for I think $30. So pretty good. The inside looks like this versus the outside. And it's black and my room is black, white, and pink. So it'll be great. And then it came with the two pillow shams as well. It's from the brand Soft and Cozy Company. Perfect. And then I got, um, oh, I got a lunchbox. This was literally a dollar fifty cents. Original price was fifteen um, because I take my lunch to work and I need a lunchbox. So got this. And the other thing I said I went for a jacket. So I'm really proud because usually I go to dirt cheap and get stuff I don't even need. So I got the stuff I said I went to get. I found this jacket here, and it's black and pink on the inside. It's lined, but it's not too lined. And this is from a Target collection called Wild Fable. Um, 
and this coat I think this coat was $14 so it's like a coat jacket type of situation but got that and then I told y'all I was going to the beauty supply store and I did I just got some uh, wig clips to make my little U part wig and uh, some measuring tape to this is for my weight loss journey and needle and thread nothing mage and then I also stopped at Zaxby's and got a salad. I ain't ate all day. I'm starving too. So I'm about to eat this salad and chill. And then uh, I'm going to wash my hair and deep condition it. Hey guys. Uh, welcome back to another vlog. I don't know where this part of the clip is going to be. The end, the beginning, the middle, child. I don't know. But today is Friday. I woke up this morning, I ran a couple errands, and I also, of course, stopped at Dunkin' Donuts and got me uh, an iced coffee with pumpkin spice, which I'm just now really getting hip to, but it's pretty good. And look what I'm wearing, my Georgia State um, sweater. If y'all didn't know, I went to Georgia State University for like two years. I didn't graduate from there, but I did go there for like two years. Um, but anyways, y'all, I'm at 400. Okay, now, of course, compared to other channels, like, this is a very, very small, minuscule number compared to people who have, like, 100,000 subscribers, you know, 500,000, 30,000. But, I mean, it's small, super small. But I have 499 subscribers, so I'm way subscriber away from 500 I just feel like once I get to 500 I, I can for sure get to a thousand once I get to a thousand then of course we can trinkle our way up to 10k 20k 50k 100k 200k I just have to be consistent as y'all know or whoever is watching this channel or this video right now I'm never consistent with my videos like literally I post a YouTube video like once every three weeks I need to be on it but it is kind of hard when you actually do work like a real job and trying to do this like it's hard trying to manage both like a lot of times I don't even know what to vlog because I don't do anything but go to work but I have been going to my boot camps um this week I went three days in a row I'm supposed to go today at 4 30 I haven't really made up my mind if I'm gonna go or not I should go to be honest anyways I'll figure it out but like I said I'm about to start cleaning so yeah what do you want to say hello all right hey there rowdy rangers me and my lovely mom here and nipsey come on we are about to go take a stroll in the park Ma, can you just hold it for me for a second the orange one you have the red one but i'm trying to get nipsey out more so he can get used to more outside and he be in the house all week because i'd be at work so i was like on my day off i'll just take nipsey out to the park let him get a change of scenery so that's what we're doing on this saturday 